I'm kind of excited today because I had an idea to make a, um, in celebration of Pride Month, uh, to make a rainbow situation. And what I wanted to do is make a rainbow cake. Now, how do you layer a cake? You have your layer of cake, you have your frosting, you have another layer of cake, you can see I've been mixing, and you have some more frosting. So, I am making a rainbow bloom cake. How am I gonna do that? Let's discuss the colors we're gonna be using. So, to start off, I'm using all pigments for the colors, and in between each layer, my frosting is one of my faves, this Titan Buff Light, okay? So, I have, that's not a very good picture right there, is it? We have Maraschino, we have Horizon, we have Submarine, are we gonna have enough room? Then we have, am I doing this right? Let's pretend for a minute. Indigo Waves, Lagoon, Lagoon, Indigo Waves, and Nightfall. Look at this pretty rainbow sitch. Okay, shit sticks, no worries. Um, hold on, so professional. So basically, in between each layer, I'm gonna put this. Now, this might be tricky and this might be a total disaster because this is an opaque paint. We know opaque paints tend to cover. You have to use them sparingly. But my idea is to get like a bit of a sparkle here, a bit of a sparkle there. It will most likely be a lot of this color with sparkle here and there and everywhere, hopefully. Wish me luck. Okay, I've totally changed my idea. I'm going to forget the cake thing because I really want this to be super vibrant. So I got my 14 incher here and I'm gonna like just layer the colors like a rainbow, maybe just do like a simple swipe and that's it. Cause I wanna see all the colors, okay? Now, <sighs> my problem is my pillow paint. So I currently have Sherman's how to go the green. Now this can, so my first can I got when it, it was perfect. Now I'm getting these and they're too thick again like they were for me a few years ago. And I actually prefer the deep base, even though it's very thin, the deep base, okay? But this is what we got going now. So we're gonna deal with it. And it's actually okay, cause I'm swiping. Blowing this one out, look at how thick it is, see? Blowing this out is really, like there's a bloop that's gonna come. Uh, it's really hard because it's so thick. So a swipe will do me better, but still look at how, like, I don't know you guys. I probably shouldn't, do. probably shouldn't even. So when you have something so thick, you want to not put too much on because it's really gonna spin out. Like look, it's very thick and it's very, a little too like pudding-y. So I'm actually probably, I don't know, like, should I go back to my eggshell? I might go back to my glid and eggshell, or I might go back to the tinted, I mean, the deep base, but this is like a very gloopy and I don't know, I'm not enjoying it. The first bottle back, I was so excited because it was thin, thinner. But then I remembered the problem. All right, getting those boobles out. <laughs> okay, so what am I gonna do? I just put this in wet paint, which you don't want to do because you want a clean palette knife. Um, so how am I going to do this? Um, well, let's start. Okay, I don't want any white, all right? So I'm gonna take my maraschino, like, cause remember I have six colors. I don't know, and I want them all to show. So basically I have to assume how far, I probably should do it more. I don't know yet, we'll see. I'm just gonna use all of what I have mixed up. 
And if not, then I'm done with my rainbow idea. You know? <laughs> All right. Okay, Horizon. <sighs> Submarine. These colors look so pretty together and I just want to do them justice. You know what I mean? Okay. Then we have Lagoon. How am I gonna swipe it? I don't know yet. If you're asking yourself, I am also asking myself. I'm not quite sure. I don't want it to be filled with cells. I want maybe like one little cell swipe and the rest just color, you know? Oops, it put her back flat. Okay. Indigo. Like this is just so pretty. Just so pretty as it is. I have my electricians here because uh, the pool supposedly is going to be finished soon. It's been quite a while. It's been rain, you know. Okay, here is finally is the twilight. So now you ask yourself, what are you doing? And my answer is I do not know. Okay, let me get some blue blades up first. Okay, I hate these little air blades that ruin my vibe, you know? Okay, now, is this swiper too big? Possibly. Am I just going like this? Possibly, that's all I'm doing. If I had a smaller swiper, which I can't find, I probably would use that. But why don't I simply go like this? And I'll start here and that side will be ugly. Okay, oh, I'm using hey, uh, titanium white style activator. Now, mm, I'm going, this is all pigment and I'm going right on pigment and I, we always say don't do that, right? But I don't care, okay? Because I'm not looking for crisp cells here. It's gonna look, it's gonna bleed a little bit, whatever, but I don't care, okay? So there. <laughs> Normally you don't want a cell activator over pigments because it kind of bleeds through the pigments because there's no binder in them. But this is what I've done. This is what I'm about to do. Okay. Well, Thank you, rainbow gods. This is what I'm talking about. Absolutely beautiful, if I do say so myself. Like, beautiful, okay? Now don't mess it up, basically. It's so pretty and I wanna keep all the colors visible. Like, do I, I like, I don't mind how these lines are, this I don't love, right? Um, but perhaps spinning, I could take a, if I had one, which I of course don't, if I had a little one, I might go like this, but I mean, this is pretty and I don't even wanna lose that. Do I wanna do, you know what, maybe, cause it is bothering me a little bit, I will just kind of make, cause I will try. I should use my thick side probably, right? Yeah, let's use the thick side. Oh, so nervous. I just want a rainbow in my life, you know? <laughs> All right, that's a little better. Maybe, we'll see. Okay, are you ready? Just wish me luck. I love this rainbow. I don't like this, I like this. But we'll see. I'm going to spin slowly to kind of see how she wants to go. Okay. I am going to go like this so she 
comes off nicely and easily with no problem. She's still quite thick. So we don't want to bug her, you know what I mean? Um, she's looking good. Okay, you got this. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep spinning because she's still thick, but I like what's happening. Right? A little more hard. <laughs> okay, there's a buble that's bothering me. Right here. Causing problems. Okay. Let's look at how we're doing. Good. <clears throat> I like her. All right. I do want a little more of this off, and then I think we're good. And you know what? I I'm pretty happy. I'm just getting this bottom <clears throat> purple off right there that I don't like. So it might take a moment. But I think I'm happy. What do you guys think? Kind of cool. Um, obviously not my original idea. However, I don't care, do I? I'm just gonna get a little bit more here because She's kind of pretty, right? Let's see how much further she'll go. I just want this little bit off, if I can. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay. And we're good. And I definitely don't have too much paint left on because I tilted quite a bit, but I could give it one more been for funsies at this point. Um, like normally, I mean, this kind of bothers me, but I guess I can leave it. I don't have enough paint left to take it. Oh shit, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> I almost dropped it. I'm gonna give it one more spin to make sure that this paint doesn't crack on me. There's a little buble. Okay, and I just love the flow of these colors and I'm happy I got something that pleases my eyes. And I hope, yeah, this baby won't crack. And I have all the colors, basically, I do, actually. And so there, all the colors and it's cool. Um, let me know what you think. Oh, that was stressful. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye.